as we, as we talk about ransomware, it is one of the best business models out there in the world, not to encourage anybody to get into it, but it's literally one of the best business models ever sort of invented on the planet, where a very small set of people can make extraordinary amounts of money very fast with no friction. And so don't they say it would be a unicorn if it was actually a business? Absolutely. Well, you know, it make any unicorn look stupid. <laughs> yeah. uh, maybe how about maybe that? To, uh, to add to the scale of it, uh, Recorded Future just launched their uh, malware um, service now. And Christopher, you receive how many malware signatures per day? I mean, it's like millions. That's sort of ridiculous. Like a one yeah. and a half million a day. That gives you an idea of the type of scale that we talk about here. This is not a small business mm -hmm. that's being run. I looked at some of the, the dark web marketplaces. Abacus is one. Mm -hmm. They sell more than 40,000 different products on the marketplace. So wow. it gives you an idea a little bit of, of, of what you're dealing with. And there's a whole ecosystem when it comes to ransomware, isn't there? From the developers to the access brokers, the operators and the negotiators. Absolutely, yes. highly specialized. Yeah. So if you think about it from an economics point of view again, so Adam Smith here is the inventor of, uh, uh, I don't know, liberalism or, or whatever you want to call it, uh, market economics. He'd be very proud if he observed this. <laughs> there's the, the degree of specialization. No, seriously, it's, it's sort of amazing. Ting, 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 and they sort of specialize in these very narrow verticals. And, and, and again, as I mentioned before, this used to be just a pure Russian ecosystem, but now we're seeing other parts of the world tapping into that. And of course, it sort of does, because that's sort of the, the opportunity. So. I want to ask you, Christopher, about humans. Mm -hmm. And th there's a saying out there, like humans are the weakest link. And certainly in, in cybersecurity, we all hate that because our view is humans... You don't want to be the weak link. Exactly. <laughs> we can be the greatest shield, which is more my view. But I want to hear from you, despite all of this tech, what is your view? What's your assessment on that when it comes to the cyber threat landscape? Yeah, you know, look, there's a lot of weak links. Uh, you know, the, the probably the better way of saying it is that, you know, which is another sort of, I don't know what you call it, just a commonly said statement that no system is any stronger than its weakest link. Weakest link. So, and as the world gets connected and everything gets, you know, yeah, connected, so there ends up being a lot of links. And, and sometimes it's a human, sometimes it's a machine. Now. It's true that, you know, as much as we think we train people, we give them all kinds of protections on their devices and so on, to this day, when you see, you've read about how, you know, scattered spider, to use sort of fancy names, uh, taking down a bunch of the retailers in the U UK over the last couple of months here. In many cases, that is, you know, social engineering, just getting in a call center, uh, either sort of, yeah, basically frauding, defrauding a single person there, or maybe even bribing somebody in the call center to be, you know, make them a, a, a link that you can take advantage of. So for sure, humans can be a weak link, but there's plenty of weak links on the machine side as well. <laughs>